Hello again, guys. Welcome to the Cast Iron Man Cooking Show, and we've got a rainy Sunday here ahead of us. We're not going to do what we were going to do. What we're going to do is something else, which is going to be buttermilk pancakes, because that seems to make sense for me on a day like today. We're going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour, good quality flour. Always use King Arthur flour. Then put in your baking soda and baking powder. Sprinkle a little salt, about a teaspoon. Two cups of good quality cold buttermilk. And then maple syrup and sugar within the pancake because I don't want to dump so much on when I actually eat them. I, I impart the flavor here at the beginning, which I don't know. You don't have to do. Eggs, two whole eggs, and then one egg yolk in our pancakes. Make sure you clean. Always make sure you, you wipe down. This isn't a perfect TV set, so I get to show you a little bit of behind the curtain of, you know, I don't know. I, I'm a slob in many ways. Mix this together and really hammer it. Get up all the sides. Get all the flour incorporated that's stuck to the sides. And then you're going to add a quarter cup plus two tablespoons or so of whole milk. And I'm not going to be super strict about this because it depends on where you are. Like always, I keep repeating this, but you know the, the moisture content varies. So just try to get a thin-ish batter um, where it kind of sticks to the whisk like that. Not super, not watery thin, but just a little bit of resistance. Okay, I basically cook pancakes one at a time so that they are perfectly crusty on the outside. And generally in a seasoned cast iron pan, I think it comes out the best. You know, you're not going to have a steam table at your house. So it is hard to get the pancakes perfect every time and maintain temperature. As is the case here with me. I heated this thing up while I was mixing and it got way too hot. We are aiming for around 375. So I cooled it down with some water and we're just going to bring it back up to near 400 degrees before we put our butter in. And that's another key to cooking pancakes perfectly is you have to use, so whatever the amount of butter you think you need, you're going to use more than that. And honestly, I actually woke up this morning, like almost, I thought I was having a heart attack in my sleep. It could have been caused by this, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a push and pull in life. It's risk reward. And man, that was one hell of a nightmare. So get a ladle, drop the batter in the center of your pan and just let it spread out. Do not spread it out with the ladle. Do not do that. You just are going to let it go to the sides and crisp up naturally. And you should have a generally circular pancake um that's it gravity will will do all the work or whatever gravity i don't know it's, it seems like gravity or fluid dynamics who cares so put it on the sheet pan and then pop that in your oven if you're doing what i'm doing i have a warm setting on my oven that's around 200 degrees and i just let those sit in the oven while i am making the rest of the pancakes and just repeat the process adding butter and spooning in your batter nice and slow and creating an even cook and an even browning around the edges. You can see the batter frying there on the edge of the pan. That's how you get a nice pancake. And when you flip your pancake, you have to, it's a committal thing. It's like shocking that I'm even capable of doing that. But you flip very fat, just, I'm flipping this, boom, flip it. Do not hesitate, or you will most surely fuck it up. And there we go, we're done. Got our pancakes ready got three big ones here uh you'll notice this is different than the thumbnail because for the thumbnail i, I needed to create a, that classic high stack pancake look but these are uh, typical diner kind of diner size pancakes load them up with more butter you know so that you're actually your teeth are biting into butter and then if you are going to use syrup you definitely should use real maple syrup and never Aunt Jemima or Log Cabin, um, you know, just anything like that is just not, it, it tastes so radically different. And once you try real maple syrup, I would imagine you're not going to go back to the other stuff. So thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy. Make this on Sunday. Enjoy with the people you care about. And I care about you. I love you. Bye.